The extraordinary is as rare in motion pictures as it is in life. Zorba. You are in paradise. Yet there is no better word for Anthony Quinn in the role he was born to play, Zorba the Greek. Remember this, if a woman sleeps alone, it puts a shame on all men. God has a very big heart, but there is one sin he will not forgive. If a woman calls a man to her bed and he will not go. Everything about the film and the man is different. When Zorba talks, you listen. I have done things for my country that would make your hair stand. I have killed, burned villages, raped women. When Zorba drinks, you taste it. When Zorba loves, you feel it. Because this is a man who devours life as if it were a feast. A man who never puts off till tomorrow what he can enjoy today. Here is his world. Sea bathed, sun washed Greece. Its sights, its sounds, its music, its dancing. Above all, here are its people. As proud as the silent <coughs> village beauty whose desires only Zorba understood. And they hate her because they cannot have her. Only one man here can. You. The vulnerable English youth whom Zorba sent stumbling into love. The Rabelaisian French Madame, who was loved by no less than four admirals. People as proud, as cruel, as revengeful, as murderous, there's their barren, mountainous homeland. You bastard mountain! I'll eat your guts! And overshadowing them all, Zorba fighting for life, laughing at death, attaining his place among the immortal characters of our time.